The U.S. Air Force marked its 70th birthday recently, and the 94,000 member Air Force Association used that occasion to pay tribute to one of its all time greats. The Lifetime Achievement Award, presented to 95 year old Clarence Bud Anderson, a World War II triple ace and lifelong Auburn resident. CBS 13's Ed Crane paid a visit to the home of the man Chuck Yeager called the best fighter pilot I ever saw. He was a farm boy from Newcastle who had flown a few times in a Piper Cub, and when the attack on Pearl Harbor ushered in World War II, the Army Air Force got a bargain. For the price of $9.50 for an insurance policy for my parents, uh, I got a private pilot's license. The Mustang, the P-51. He called his Old Crow, named not after a wise seasoned bird, but a smooth Kentucky whiskey. At the ripe old age of 21, he was leading American bombers on missions over Germany, softening up the Luftwaffe for the D-Day invasion. And why would Anderson, after emerging from one tour unscathed, sign up for a second? I miss being with the guys, and that's why I did a second tour. I wanted to be with the folks that I flew with. But Anderson will tell you the Germans were better pilots. So what gave him the edge? Was he more of a daredevil, craftier? Was it the faster, better designed fighter plane? Probably a little bit of all of that. Uh, maybe a little a lot of luck thrown in. Vietnam era pilot Tom Dwelly, a longtime friend, always wondered why Anderson is credited with not 16 kills, but 16 at a quarter. Seems a lone German plane had the misfortune of running into Anderson's P-51 and three of his pals. He said, I rolled in on him, I got hits. And he turned to two and said, uh, uh, did you get hits? Yeah, I said, I got some hits and went to three. Uh, did you get hits? Yeah, I got hits too. And, and, and number four, did you get hits? Yeah, I got hits too. And boom, he went down, so we'll split it four ways. Two tours of duty, 116 combat missions and 16 and a quarter kills. Clarence Bud Anderson, a standout in a generation that time is whittling away but a generation that history and America will never forget. First off, he looks great. Yes. And uh, imagine sitting and having lunch with him. I mean, that would be a great, great time. The stories that he could tell, the memories, the, you know, recounting, even those stories right yeah. there are incredible. Yeah. Ed, thanks for that report. Yes.